Hey guys, Fleming Chicken here. Welcome back. We have a very interesting video today. Um, this one, this package here cost me roughly $25 because they didn't give me a discount on shipping. That's okay because it was roughly $2 per thing and then $3 per shipping for each. And there should be five of them. So this is about $25. This isn't really a mystery pack. It is in the sense I don't quite understand 100% what it is I bought. And this one here is a mystery pack. This was $32 with $8 shipping and some taxes. So this was $40. Um, so before the mystery box or package, I guess, I already went ahead and cut them. I haven't gone through them yet. I just cut them open to save some of me struggling. Um, let me see here. Okay, so this is all of it. There, it looks like there should have been more because there was five things and they were kind of like um, packs, I believe, if I understand what I got correctly. So we're gonna see what it is. All right, so it is a type of pack, very interesting. It's some sort of gym promo pack. There should be five of them. All right, there is five of them. Um, now this one's like a duplicate of it. I'll go ahead and open it. I'm not 100% certain what these are, to be honest. It's a Pokemon card gym. And I think it's just one individual card. I've never seen these before. I do wish they would have um, gave me the discount for shipping, but whatever. But I bought five of them. Um, and that cost them like $3 to ship that, but whatever. That's their choice, I guess. Okay, so it's a Japanese Pokemon card and it's something fairly new. It's some sort of promo. And let's see what it is. Oh, okay, so it's some sort of, it's not specifically a promo, it's something that's going to have this. Very interesting. Oh, okay, um, probably is better to keep them sealed, but that's not who I am. So let's go ahead and open all these up. I have no idea what you can pull. And here, I just did a blue one, so I'll do a blue one again. Hopefully it's not the exact same card. Hopefully it's something different. I don't know if we can pull a hollow. I, I honestly have no idea. Um, so it's... I guess this really is a mystery um, because we had no idea what to expect in these packs. Oh, right, so it is going to be a different card, even if it's the same color pack. Interesting. And yeah, I've never seen cards with that, so uh, interesting. We'll do red next. We got two reds, so we'll save orange for last. They're definitely not easy to open. Dang. Okay. Huh. I was honestly expecting full packs. I wonder if these have been... All right, so this is getting me nervous. Possible reseal, maybe it was to be supposed to be full packs. So we're gonna do some research on this later. And if it turns out these are supposed to be full packs instead of individual cards, um, yeah, we're gonna demand a refund, especially since they overcharged me on shipping anyways, drastically. Um, let's see. Oh, hi. Another one. Then we'll do red again. You know, hopefully we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll pull some sort of hollow. I honestly don't know what you can pull. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little weird that these are so hard to open. Granted, it could be the specific packaging for this, but um, I doubt it. And I think someone would try and sell something so obscure like this, it's hard to research unless you know how to read ja Japanese. Um, because I don't know if this is saying like 10 in the currency or if you're supposed to get 10 cards in this because I'm thinking this is supposed to be 10 cards. There's a 10 and there's a seven. Granted, the number on the, oh wait, the number is, hmm. I don't think you're only supposed to get one card. It just seems like a lot of packaging and effort, like too much for one card. Okay, so there's a uh, Clefairy and then we'll do orange last. Yeah, I'm not quite certain how I feel about these. Like, it's fun because I've never seen them. This is quite the mystery. But, uh, right, so nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, I've never seen this before. However, I am definitely going to do some research into these packs more so now to see what I should have expected. Just something doesn't seem right. Um, they were really hard to open and they broke a little funny open, in my opinion, too. Uh, I have a feeling these are probably reseals. It just feels like it. Something's off. Um, I just don't see Pokemon doing this much packaging for one individual card. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. I'm also seeing 
I'm seeing a little number one down here. And I know they do three packs. I've just never heard of a single card pack. And it does say Pokemon card, not Pokemon cards. That'll be something to look into. Uh, these I wouldn't suggest. This doesn't seem like it was worth it unless there's some sort of high value to these cards that I just don't know about. Um, so I'm going to look into these later in terms of what I was supposed to get. This is correct. This, it just doesn't feel correct. And it might be. I'm just going to do a little research later. No big deal. And now on to the actual um, slightly bigger uh, mystery box. So I think there's some more stuff in just this. So there's a uh, Pokey Cup um, with Pikachu on it. And it's not really like hard plastic. It's a slightly cheaper cup. And there's some stuff taped up. I really hope they didn't tape up like actual good cards. Like that is the worst thing you can do. Oh man, they did. I mean, it's not. I don't think it's good cards, but they taped up cards, which is a huge disaster. They taped up some stickers. Don't ever package your stuff like this, guys, because it just pisses off the person who gets it. Because now they have to play surgery to not damage what they got and got all the stickers on um, or off. Okay, so they added a a, a low and uh, ball picks. It looked like it was already damaged or possibly damaged via shipping since they used no protector on it. And it really sucks. It looks like a decent card. It's some sort of uh, reverse hollow. Um, so yeah, don't ship cards in a cup like this uh, if you're not going to put them in some sort of sleeve protector. And they straight put that tape all the way on the back of these. Granted, it looks like maybe they purposely used cheap cards as some sort of protectant. But just don't do that, guys. Don't ship your stuff like that. It just destroys what you ship. So right now I'm not happy, obviously. It looks like one sealed booster pack so far. And I mean, Tavy's booster pack isn't the biggest deal in the world. But at the same time, uh, so it's a Sun and Moon Ultra Prism, which I think is supposedly an okay pack. Um, oh, wow, an XY Evolutions pack. That's actually impressive. Um, and it doesn't look like it was a reseal, so that is interesting to pull. Um, behind them there's some loose cards, and ironic, oh, cards that are sleeved, okay. Now we're getting to it. So we've got some code cards, I don't know if they're used, but here you go for people who are on the channel. So I don't do the, the virtual Pokemon, I think it's neat, I just, I just don't, I definitely don't have time for it, but if you have any kids, there's some virtual Pokemon cards. Um, oh, okay, so we've got a, uh, one of those special double Asmorels, um, and it's in a decent sleeve. I haven't seen the sleeve before, so that's nice. A Coppera, looks like he's in good condition, rare, hollow. A different version of Coppera, a Japanese version of Coppera. Uh, Store Bunny with a really nice holographic, to be honest. That's a dope holographic. Um, and that's the one who's on the back. Um, oh, so it looks like these were some um, shiny V, high V pulls, um, because this is the pattern you get from shiny high V, um, with some decent sleeves, I'll take it, I'm not going to open these yet, I think there's some more in the package, okay, there is a little bit more, there is some stickers, oh, hi. looks like I have the three starters from that, and... Hold on. Thank you card. And... All right, so it ends with a coin, which that's a decent coin. That I'll probably get gray because that's got starters on it, so that's probably worth it. And then um, this sort of Pikachu Pokemon set. Either I'll give this to a kid, my kid, or maybe I'll do it as a giveaway. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to the packs, because there really isn't, there isn't anything else. So, um, best of luck with these packs. If you don't know, we've never pulled Charge on this channel. I wouldn't be too, too hyped, but I'd be happy to pull up Charizard XY Evolutions. So we'll save XY Evolutions last, and we'll move into uh, Ultra Prism. Um, if I had to guess, the XY Evolutions has probably been weighed. I think we can weigh XY Evolutions. Um, but let's see what we get here. All right, so these don't look like reseals. So that's good. It's always a, a, a plus. So it's a nice little artwork of Alolan Vulpix. A Pacarisu, Alolan Chantru. That's a dope Alolan Chantru. Chimchar, Electabuzz. I see something shiny, actually. Electabuzz, 
um, Tapu Lili, hopefully this wasn't what I was seeing. I guess it was, because it's followed by a rare null. Um, Electric Energy, Gabite, Liquor Whistle, Primlup. So that kind of sucks. Uh, I can see, oh, it is a rare though. It's not the worst thing in the world, but yeah, I was seeing the edging of it, and I thought I was, I've actually pulled something really, really good, but I didn't. All right, now we have XY Evolutions. Um, I do think these packs are like up there in price a little bit. Uh, wow, it really does feel like a vintage Pikachu. Um, so let's go ahead and give you the code card. I see something. Oh, hi. So it's not uh, Charizard, at least that isn't. So let's see what we got. We got Pikachu. We got Growlithe. We got Machop. We have Nido Ram. Ponyta, I think we're getting up to the, uh, we've got Reverse Hollow Magmar, and we have, they made Arcanine a rare? He wasn't even a rare in the original set, that's bullshit. Magmar again, and Energy Retrieval, and uh, Blastoise Spirit Link. Oh, I have a feeling those packs were weighed unless my luck is really, 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 really shitty. I just have that feeling. So in terms of value, I paid $32. I got some stickers. I got some code cards. I got two sealed packs. Um, I don't know how much the Sun and Moon one goes for. I'd say I probably got, what, $15 in packs. Um, the Pikachu thing's probably actually a little pricey. It's probably like 8 bucks right there, the Pikachu Pokeball thing. Um, some damaged cards because they taped them really poorly. We got some cards and some sleeves. This one's actually probably worth something because of its hollow background. It's actually um, a unique hollow background. Um, I got some different versions of Coppera. Uh, I don't know, guys. Um, I, I mean, probably if I have to wait a long time, some of this might be worth something. The coin might be worth something like 20 years from now. But... In terms of how much that mystery pack costs, um, this is what, kind of my point. And I'll probably continue to still do mystery packs, but it's probably always going to be at a loss. I I kind of think every mystery pack is a scam, um, unless it's from like an actual representative company. Um, and it has to include the odds of winning to, to really be a representative. If you're not including the odds of what you could win, um, you're you're probably not a representative company. Um, I would say every now and then there's probably some individuals who probably do some like high-end packs, like, you know, some high YouTubers like Pokey Rev, Leon Hart, um, some upcoming ones, um, probably Vintage Portal Hunter Brothers, maybe one day, who knows, he's, he is, you know, continuing to grow. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do a mystery pack giveaway or sell ever. Uh, I, I think there's a lot of work um, in terms of if you're trying to do it right, I think if, if you were trying to just be speedy and just trying to make something out of it, obviously you have to be kind of a scam. You go, okay, I got all these base cards. I'm going to say, um, I'm going to sell all these base card packs. You know, I'm going to put 10 base cards in each one of them. Each one of these base cards costs basically four cents. So it's going to cost 40 cents to build each pack. And I'm going to put a reverse hollow in each one. And reverse hollow costs a dollar. So it's going to cost me a dollar 40 per pack. I'm going to do a thousand of these packs. I'm going to sell them for $7 a piece. And I'm going to put one base set to almost PSA 7 worth, but raw Charizard. And I'll still make 600 bucks. There's a lot of work involved. Um, unless you have like a little sealer, it's a little bit quicker. Um, or maybe you have some child labor around the house. But uh, I'm not a big fan of mystery packs. I, 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 I haven't. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased, I guess. I haven't been lucky. But in terms of taking in the human condition of greed, I would say for a strong factor, mystery packs are purposely placed against you from an individual. Uh, from a company, not so much. They're selling thousands and thousands and thousands of stuff. And they're not really worried about weighing stuff out over and over. I do have a strong feeling that both the packs that came in here were weighed pretty certain you can weigh evolutions you can probably weigh that other one as well um 
I'm not looking to those Japanese promo packs. I don't think I should have gotten an individual card. That's a little weird. Um, and I don't like that the person also sent nothing extra and or gave a small refund on the amount of shipping I paid for those. So, yeah, still right now I'm on the opinion of I do not advise buying mystery stuff unless you really have money to blow or maybe it's from a representative that you know or a company. Um, right now it's just been a big downfall. Uh, other than that, I hope we all learn something. Hopefully maybe this coin, I can send it into PSA. I don't think it will be a 10. I see some scratches on one of the heads but other than that it's a decent condition probably come back at eight to nine i really would like a 10 it'd be nice um i don't think it'll be worth anything right away but i think 20 years from now it's going to be worth maybe 100 bucks it doesn't take up much room so i'll just hold on to it once i get it graded other than that um i'll probably do a bunch of these giveaways probably these stickers probably the stickers um probably some of the cards um sorry the tripod's not e even um, but I hope at least some of you benefited from the code cards for this video and maybe some of the knowledge of probably stay away from mystery packs unless it's, you know, by an actual big company or like, you know, the company Pokemon themselves. Um, I was looking into buying some big, um, like, I think they're called like special slab boxes or something and like you can get lucky and open up something really cool and like you get PSA graded cards, um, but they're fairly expensive and it's still a big gamble and risk, but... Um, there's some good representative to that, so I was looking into that, but we'll see what happens. If I went big on the stock market tonight, I'll probably buy one. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.